How does a biosensor work? Have you ever wondered how a tiny device can detect specific chemicals in your body or the environment? That's where biosensors come into play. Let's break down how these fascinating devices work. A biosensor is a combination of a biological component and a physical or chemical detector. This unique pairing allows it to identify specific substances, known as analytes. At the heart of a biosensor are three main components, a biological recognition element, a transducer, and an electronic system for processing signals. The biological recognition element, often called a bioreceptor, can be an enzyme, an antibody, a cell, or even nucleic acid. This element is specifically chosen for its ability to interact with the target molecule. When the analyte comes into contact with the bioreceptor, a chemical reaction or binding event occurs. For instance, if the bioreceptor is an enzyme, it may convert the analyte into a product. This process can release substances like electrons or hydrogen ions, causing a change in the environment around the bioreceptor. Next, we have the transducer. This part of the biosensor detects the change caused by the reaction and converts it into a measurable signal. There are several types of transducers. Electrochemical transducers measure changes in electrical properties, such as current or voltage, resulting from the chemical reaction. Optical transducers, on the other hand, detect changes in light absorption or fluorescence. Piezoelectric transducers measure changes in mass or vibration frequency due to the binding of the analyte. Once the transducer has converted the chemical change into a signal, the electronic system processes this signal. It often amplifies the signal and converts it into a format that can be displayed or recorded. This allows users to see the presence or concentration of the analyte in real time. In the context of material science and chemistry education, biosensors are essential. They demonstrate how chemical principles apply to real-world biomedical challenges. A common example is the glucose biosensor, which uses enzymes to react with glucose and produce an electrical signal. This signal helps monitor blood sugar levels for individuals with diabetes. Biosensors have many practical applications. They can detect pathogens in food or water, monitor environmental pollutants, and screen for disease markers in medical diagnostics. Each application relies on the specific chemical properties of the bioreceptor and the analyte, along with the sensitivity and selectivity of the transducer. So, how does a biosensor work? It uses a biological element to recognize a specific chemical substance, a transducer to convert the resulting chemical change into a measurable signal, and an electronic system to process and display the result. This process is rooted in chemical reactions, making biosensors a vital topic in chemistry and materials science education, especially in biomedical engineering. 